Right now we're standing in the corner of the studio where tonight's production of The Scene will take place. This is an exciting music show that we do here that's basically produced by volunteers. And that's a great way you can get involved here at Shaw TV is by volunteering. And a really good reason to volunteer is exemplified by my lovely co-host, Tammy Williams. Now, Tammy, you actually started off as a volunteer with Shaw. I did. Uh, almost 15 years ago, I, I did a two-year stint as a volunteer and eventually found my way to full-time employment. And um, like right next to where we are, but there's no lights over there, so we can't go over there. That's where your new volunteer uh, production is, is taking place, where, where you're like the executive producer, but, uh, but you've got a, a great talk show that you started. Yeah, yeah. We, uh, here in the studio, we produce something called The Lunch Counter, and uh, we have uh, a really cool set that we put together here in the studio, and we invite some panel members to come on in, and uh, they're either experts or have opinions on certain topics. We've done the evolution of live theater here in the Valley, and we've also done one on distracted driving, and it's shot by volunteers, uh, co-produced by volunteers, and our resident intern, Stephen, is actually going to be hosting his version of the lunch counter in a couple of weeks. So it's a great opportunity for people to come in and see what a live taping of a TV show is like. They can actually, right off the bat, get working on the cameras, operating the microphones, all that kind of stuff. So it's a, it's a really good way to get involved. But you're also hoping to get people to come down and watch the show being taped, right? Absolutely. We, uh, we want to eventually have the lunch counter be in a place where people uh, can come down to the studio and ask us questions while we break for commercials. Or, you know, I'll have a couple of electronic devices on set and if they want to tweet us, or Facebook questions while we're actually taping they can actually go ahead and do that and they can do that if they're just here watching it's really cool so your career as a volunteer what kind of things did you did you did you get to do I remember one of my first shoots was with uh, the director of both the scene and the lunch counter Chris Clark and I got to meet the Kettle Valley brakeman that was awesome I remember doing a story on how to inline skate I remember helping do counsel. I remember trying my hand at editing and writing. Really, when you're in the volunteer program, it, the world is your oyster. You know, we, we give you a ball and you bounce it. You bounce it according to what you want to learn and what you want to do, and that's exactly what I did. So if people want to get involved, they want to find out more about how they can become a volunteer, help us out here and, and get their own voice heard on program. What's the best way to do that? Uh, you guys can email me or give me a call. My direct line is 250-979-6541. And uh, we bring you down to the studio. You have a quick interview, a little bit of paperwork, not a whole lot. And uh, we figure out kind of where you want to start, what you want to do, and uh, off we go. It's really, really easy and a whole lot of fun. So what's up next on Lunch Counter? I'm trying to do one on how much society reveres athletes. Oh, uh, yeah. well, that's Armstrong conversation we've exactly. been having. Yeah, that's yeah. interesting, yeah. exciting. Yeah, and then I think Stephen, his topic will be the influence of technology on, on, the, on some generations. I think he's trying to get a man in his 70s who's just starting to use cell phones and a uh, young teacher who has five kids who's very much, it seems, against cell phones, tablets, et cetera. Very exciting. Mm -hmm. If you've got a great idea for a Lunch Counter episode or you'd like to be a volunteer, get a hold of us. We'll be back with more from Go Okanagan right after this.